Oh, hello there, friends. I'm Justin, and you caught me looking at some pieces of art. And I gotta say, I'm really admiring what the artists did here. Like, take a look at this one. This piece of art has some brilliant color choices. It makes the whole thing feel almost mysterious. Oh, and take a look at this piece of art. Oh, beautiful brush strokes. It's making me feel cheery, even though there's a bunch of rain in it. Oh, and take a look at this piece of art. It's, what do you mean that's not art? This is a piece of art made from words. More specifically, it's a poem. Like any other kind of art, poems make you feel, they make you think, and they're all created with intent. Poets are their own kind of artists, only they use words and poetic structures as their tools instead of paints and canvases. Today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into how poets use these tools to create art from words. Let's get into it! As always, before we begin, make sure that you're following along with your guided notes so that you can refer to them later. Poetry is words that convey certain emotions or ideas, sometimes with specific meanings, sounds, or rhythms. The elements that create the general structure of a poem are lines and stanzas. These lines are the rows of words in a poem. While other pieces of writing might complete a sentence in one or two lines, poetry can continue a sentence through several lines. For example, in this poem, the last stanza, the blue surrounding it grows cloudy and it floats away from you, is one continuous sentence that takes five lines. The stanzas in poetry are the groups of lines that create the body of the poem. Look at the poem. How many stanzas does it have? How many lines does this poem have? Pause the video to answer now in your guided notes. A poet uses their own versions of a paintbrush and charcoal to create powerful poetry. These poets' tools include poetic devices, mood, theme, and figurative language. Poetic devices are used to create rhythm, add meaning, and develop emotion in poetry. Mood is how a poem makes you feel, and poets use this tool to evoke emotions in their readers. Poets also create themes that are the message of the poem. We're already familiar with that last tool, figurative language, where poets can use similes, metaphors, hyperbole, and personification to create imagery and help their audience envision and feel the words of a poem. Now, let's take a look at that poem again. This time, let's see if we can connect an emotion to it. Visible, invisible a fluctuating charm, an amber-colored amethyst inhabits it. Your arm approaches and it opens and it closes. You have meant to catch it and it shrivels. You abandon your intent. It opens and it closes and you reach for it. The blue surrounding it grows cloudy and it floats away from you. What emotion do you feel when you hear this poem? Pause the video to answer now in your guided notes. After hearing the poem, I think it gives me a feeling of loneliness or melancholy. By the end of this unit, you'll be able to name all the tools that reveal the poet's secrets to creating mood, just like this one. You'll even get the chance to create your own poem like this piece of art here. And I gotta tell you, I cannot wait to see you get the chance to create your own poetry. Who knows, it could end up a piece of art with words that gets hung up in this very museum. 
But for now, I'll see you next time. Hey.